It is rattlesnake season and we do live in rattlesnake country here in Northern California and the expert we spoke with tonight said that it's these evenings that the rattlesnakes are most active when it starts to cool off and you look around your yard. You want to be careful around the planter boxes and the stones. He says snakes like to slither along the foundations of houses. The rattlesnake bite victim we spoke with tonight said she never imagined this could happen to her. It's the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Amy Osborne of Folsom explains she thought she was picking up one of these rocks in her backyard. The gate wasn't closing all the way. She figured the rock was blocking it, but it wasn't a rock. It was a snake head, and it just opened its mouth and clamped down and bit me. That was two weeks ago, and now she's speaking with Fox 40 to help other people avoid suffering a similar ordeal. The pain of the actual snake bite, but then there was the feeling of the venom coursing through your body and it's a totally separate feeling, right? You know that you have this neurotoxin just going through your bloodstream and it's just hitting every single part of you. Amy says it's difficult to relax in the backyard after that, but she's feeling better after contacting Glenn Stow, a licensed rattlesnake remover. Super busy this time of year. As the owner of Sierra Snake, based out of Loomis, he not only removes rattlesnakes, but teaches homeowners how to make their yards less attractive to the venomous reptiles. That's what we do with our safety inspections, to basically educate people on how to learn to live with rattlesnakes because they're here. Glenn recommends if you're going outside to enjoy your yard or patio in the evening, it's a good idea to go around with a flashlight. Make sure there are no snakes out there. And if you have a hedge, he recommends cutting this lower portion into a V so you can see more of what's underneath. Make sure there isn't a snake hiding there. You'll feel more safe walking by. And don't leave doors open. Rattlesnakes look for shade on hot days. And they detect up to 0.02 of a degree change, and they always travel along edges of houses because they're worried about the birds. When they go by the door and they detect that it's much cooler in there than it is outside, if it's 100, he wants that 70 degree temperature and he'll turn and he'll head inside every time. Glenn says this has been his busiest season in 10 years all throughout the Sacramento region. He thinks the fact we didn't have many freezing nights might have allowed more snakes to survive through the winter. From May 1 to now, it's been crazy. I got about two months left in the season and I'm looking forward to <laughs> taking a little time off. It's not that we should live in fear about a rattlesnake around every corner, but take it from Amy. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, you know, don't just assume. Keep your eyes open. Amy is very thankful to the paramedics who got her to Folsom Mercy Hospital quickly where they gave her anti-venom. As for that snake that bit her, somebody, a friend or a family member, well, they ended its life with a shovel. But when Glenn is called out to a rattlesnake to remove it, he takes them away alive. We'll talk about what he does with them from there coming up in this report at 11 o'clock tonight.